हेलो वीवर आई एम जहूर इस्लाम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मैन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज़ माई सेकेंड कंटिन्यूशन लेक्चर ऑन द ड्रग यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलाइटस सो इफ यू रिमेंबर सो इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट एंटी डायबिटिक मेडिकेशंस एंड विच द वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द सिक्स द डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स और द डिफरेंट क्लासेज द सिक्स मेजर क्लासेज ऑफ ओरल एंड diabetic drugs um Uh, let's see this table and this table you can see uh, the uh, different drugs uh, which are available in a market by a different name so the first one is uh, you can see sulfonylurea so sulfonylurea you know uh, these are the different brands and uh, uh, its doses and dosage duration of action metabolism in excretion uh, main adverse uh, side effect uh, so and sulfonylurea uh, the drugs uh, which includes uh, and sulfonylurea Yeah, that is uh, chlorpropamides, uh, that is glabinclamide, or uh, uh, glyburides um, in USA and gly and um, glyglazides. So, uh, chlorpropamides. Uh, Uh, it's doses two hundred fifty to five hundred milligrams, so it can be recommended to the patients uh, uh, once daily. Uh, means uh, one tablet in twenty-four hours. Its duration of action is uh, twenty-four to uh, seventy-two hours. Uh, while the metabolism and excretion, the K and L, uh, um, this actually indicates and represent the uh, relationship between the metabolism and excretion, because we have already studied in pharmacokinetic. that um, uh, about the metabolism of the drug about its absorptions about its uh, uh, excretion and biotransformation so the main side effect which are reported after administration of this drug so in case of overdosing so it may cause uh, severe hypoglycemia so there uh, may be chances of hypoglycemic shock and uh, they are seldom used but what weight gain is occur and hypoglycemia condition uh, they are uh, actually uh, related to the uh, adr adverse drug reaction or adverse side effect which are reported by the uh, different literatures um uh, after use of oral hypo uh, um, glycemic drugs uh the second one is glabinclamide so glabinclamide is uh, also its dose is 5 to 15 mg uh, it can be given once daily to the patients and its duration of action is the same case with chlorpropamide so hypoglycemia can be occur and weight gain can be occur um glyclazides uh, that is also uh, available in 40 to 320 mg so once daily but divided higher doses so depend upon on the condition of the patient the main adverse effect which are reported dated hypoglycemia and weight gain uh, another one is glimepiride so glimepiride is also available in 1 to uh, 4 mg glimepiride Glipizide is available uh, in in a dose of uh, 2.5 to 20 mg, and uh, tolbutamide in 0.2 gram, and um, glycoridone in 15 to 180 mg. So all these are drugs. So you can uh, see uh, on this table. Uh, so uh, each and every dose uh, can be uh, written there. So you can see that. Uh, glimepiride glimepiride can be uh, given once daily so its duration of action is 24 hour and l and k show the relationship between the metabolism and excretion so now look at here so it mean that the k value the k is greater than the k is greater than l here the l is greater than so it show the relationship between metabolism and excretion So in first pass effect, we have already discussed that for solid dosage form or specially for tablet, that all the drugs it must be metabolized in the liver before it's reaching to its systemic circulation. It means that the drug will be metabolized, and the liver, which is the major organ responsible for metabolism, and then it can be uh, excreted from the body. Uh, Tolbutamide uh, that is 0.5 to 2 gram to two to three times daily, and uh, its duration of action is 12 hours, and it also causes hypoglycemia and weight gain. Uh, Megalitonide. Uh, include uh, repaglinide and nitaglinides uh, 
so um, uh, rifagninide is uh, uh, that is available in 500 uh, microgram to 16 milligram and uh, nitaclinide is in added dose of uh, 60 to 180 milligram so its dosage is uh, two to four times daily and uh, neglatinides uh, that is three times daily uh, its duration of action is less than four hour almost they are equivalent of each other's while its main ad main adverse effect which is reported after administration of rifagninide and nitaglinide that is hypoglycemia and weight gain so while in case of nitaglinide it causes hyper insulinemia Uh, dear students, uh, if you remember, uh, uh, especially in endocrinology and endocrine system, uh, we have already uh, discussed about the uh, fundamental and the uh, basic physiology of the pancreas that the insulin which is released, released by the beta cells in case of mean uh, when these insulin these hormones are secreted so insulin it can definitely lower the blood glucose level while in case of glucagon so uh, glucagon uh, glucagon is secreted by the alpha cells of pancreas and glucagon uh, whenever uh, there is hypoglycemia condition whenever the glucose concentration and your blood becomes low so definitely then at that time the uh, glucagon glucagon it can uh, increase the uh, glucose concentration in your blood so they are uh, you can say interconvertibles or you can say there is just uh, uh, the uh, insulin uh, uh, it reduce the glucose concentration in the blood while the glucagon increase the glucose concentration in the blood so they are inversely proportional to each other uh, bigonide is another class you know so bigonide include metformin which is available in 0 0.5 to 2 gram and its uh, dosage is two to three times daily and duration of action is six to twelve hours and its metabolism and excretions you know that it may cause anorexia diarrhea and really uh, lactic acidosis so this was uh, mm, all about the uh, different classes or the different classes of the drugs especially the um, oral um, anti-diabetic drug uh, you can say these are the different uh, brands um, uh, just to uh, understand the uh, concept uh, of the student uh, you can see this is metformin tablet so this is uh, 84 film coated tablet and 500 milligram and this one is this is another brand it is called cetagliptine cetagliptine is uh, actually gets pharma they are manufactured by the uh, gets pharma in 100 and they're available in 100 milligram so this is the brand name this is the market name and this one is the chemical name and so 14 tablets so there are uh, 14 tablets uh, they are uh, already present in the uh, okay so um, uh, one is a carbose tablets um, that is also uh, buyer pharmaceutical this is uh, mri so one milligram glimepiride and this one is repaglinide it is one milligram so 90 tablets so i mean this is uh, actually uh, i want to clear the um, um, concept of the student that uh, uh, this is just uh, for your uh, theoretical knowledge uh, then after um, mm, after uh, do some clinical trial and when you are engaged in some practical activity then you should know about these brands about these that uh, which drug is available uh, in the market uh, by uh, different name uh, inshallah uh, in my next lecture uh, I will try my best to uh, uh, deliver a lecture on insulin that how insulins uh, they are prepared and how insulin can be extracted from the different sources so once again thank you so much for watching my lecture wish you best of luck thank you